This is HPN Hampton Primary News. Welcome to the HPN Helicopter News, where today's limits and tomorrow leaders are then the dream safe flight. This is Jazaria and Beck with the weekly news for May 23rd, 2019. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, you may be seated. Do you know we will not come to school on Monday? Yes, it is Memorial Day. Our history reporter is here with some facts about this holiday. Demarcus, take it away. Good morning, everyone. Memorial Day is a time for remembering. It is a holiday that honors U.S. soldiers who fought and died for our country. Memorial Day began about 150 years ago. Back then, it was called Decoration Day because people decorate the graves of soldiers who had died in the Civil War. Today, we honor all of our soldiers. We remember them with flag parades, picnics, music, and decorations. Memorial Day comes each year on the last Monday in May, and that is coming up. What will you do to show your thanks to our brave American soldiers? Stay curious, Hampton Helicopters. Now back to Jazaria and back. Bye! Thank you, Demarcus. The Memorial Day holiday weekend is the time when all the swimming pools on Fort Bragg open for up uh, for the summer. Hooray! Yay. Today, our special reporter is with is Miss Van Skyver, who who is also a Fort Bragg mom. She knows all about the pools. Riley, are you ready? Take it away. Hello, everyone. We are here today with one of our school counselors. Ms. Van Skyver, welcome to our show. Thank you. I'm glad to be here today to share some important information about the Fort Bragg pools. As a Fort Bragg mom, I enjoy taking my kids to the pools during the summer. We are excited for the pools to open. What do we need to do? You won't need money for the community pools, but you need your pool pass and military ID card when your family comes to the pool. Each family can bring up to four guests. If you are under 14, you must be accompanied by an adult. What about inflatable toys and water rings? Can we bring those? No, inflatables, rafts, water rings, floaties, and toys are not allowed in the pools. You can wear a Coast Guard approved life vest like this one. What else is not allowed? 
We don't want to get into any trouble when we go swimming for fun. That's a good idea. You cannot bring any pets into the pool area and no glass at all. No food or drinks can be brought up close to the water. No running or horse plays allowed and you must always do exactly what the lifeguards tell you to do. All that is for your safety. But here's one thing you, ha you do have to have. A swimsuit. What about kids who don't know how to swim yet? Will there be any swimming lessons this summer? Oh yes, you can learn how to swim, you can learn all the strokes, you can learn how to swim underwater, and you can learn how to dive. To enroll in swimming lessons, your parents need to contact Tolson Indoor Pool. I think all the Hampton helicopters should set a goal to learn how to swim this summer if you already know how to work to become a better swimmer. That's a great idea. I know all the Hampton kids are looking forward to fun times at the pool. Thank you for being with us today, Mrs. Van Skyver. You're welcome. Now we must return to our studio with Zaria and Beck. Bye! Bye. Thank you, Ravi and Mrs. Ben Skyver. That reminds me of a joke. What did Cinderella wear on her feet when she went for a swim? I don't know. What did Cinderella wear on her feet when she went for a swim? Glass flippers. Very funny. Well, that's all for the HPN Helicopter News. We'll see you next week. Same place, same time. Have a good Memorial Day weekend. And remember, let your dreams take flight. Bye. Bye.